Well, guys, I uh, didn't manage to uh, repair my reel yet, as uh, <laughs> we were still 10 silver short. It, my reel roughly needs about 140 silver repair, and that's not that's not counting the that isn't counting the the spool and the bearings. That's just the three parts. What the friction, friction brake, and looks a little bit better. For an oil, the gears on the reel and the friction, uh, the drag brake, it's roughly 150 silver to repair. And then I think it's 118 for a new spool. And not sure about the other. We was very lucky on the last on the last stream we we was like being counted down for the we were being counted out for the license for the boat running out and we literally got down to no seconds as the fish come into the boat sort of thing uh, we was very lucky. Let's try and get it set down. And the, then that's a nice fish, you know. Um, I don't. I think it was that Arctic char what we got last time. Uh, the last fish we got in was only three and a half kilogram, and it we got twenty two silver for it, which is absolutely great, really. Um, so. The weather seems to have gone a bit overcast. It was really bright this morning. Uh, so let's see if that has a change in the bite or whether we need to change lures because um, we fish for 15 minutes real time, uh, stream for 15 minutes real time, and uh, we got 69 silver, which is we're only about six fish, so we did really well. Um, hopefully, that's going to continue. And uh, we're fishing on uh, the usual setup. If you've been watching a few of the streams, uh, our boat's still traveling, as you can see. Um, I've been fishing the hypnotic. hypnotic the silver and the gold ones. Uh, on rod, one rod I've got one, on rod two I've got the gold one. None of the settings and the rods I'm using, sorry. None oh, of the rods. Uh, I'll just have to go back out and uh, stop me, stop me uh, boat from going on for beaching itself. <laughs> uh, we've got one Let's turn around with it. There's a bait on rod two. Let's see what we've got. It's not so big this one. Shift and bring it in. I don't do it with all fish, but smaller size fish. I uh, Fighting with my mouth, I really need a new. Really do. Okay, uh, turn around. Head down to the basin. I call it a basin, I know. It's a nice uh, way to fish. I've not actually done it in real life. 
for like this, but I can to see the you know the interest on fishing this way. Sort of program of them trolling for chair on one of the deep. Not sure which whether it was a lock. Uh, it was either one of the lakes or a lock, lock in Scotland and. They were fishing very similar to this, and they had like kites. I'm saying kites, it was like an angled. All I can say, it looked like a, a be you know, like a square table mat for a cut, like a cut mat. It looked like that on the on the line, and it was taking, it was acting like a kite, but instead of being in the air and going up at an angle, they had it in in. On you know underwater and it at the blade actually took the the lure to this very very deep depth. I think they're fishing something like ninety ninety feet, like uh, which is deep for fish. And uh, I think they said uh, it could have been meters even. You know, um, apparently this char, this special rare char. Uh, lived right at the bottom of this lake in this thin layer of thin layer of uh, deep water. And they they actually caught one. It wasn't a very big one, about eight inch, you know. But they were <laughs> jumping about in the boat. As they were very happy. They were beautiful, beautiful fish. It, I hope it didn't damage it, bringing it up from such a depth, you know. Um, they did put it back, but how it would go on bringing brought up from such a depth in such a short time. You know, I don't, I don't know if they can survive that. The dead sun. We didn't know what these uh, pop-ups were saying. Uh, a few weeks ago, when it was still in Russian, they just they just blue and red uh, messages. What well, didn't mean anything. Now we can see the, the names of the areas we we're travelling and passing through of the lake. So it's nice to have the game uh, complete. Um, it's a wonderful job by the devs. They've uh, they've done us proud. Is this a uh, where I come from. Okay, top up on our food. thing I, I haven't done but I usually do is when we go over the deep pools I'll accelerate and then stop and let the lure sink as deep as they can in the deep. We have two, well two or three deep holes, uh, that being one of the main ones, start off at the dock and that's my first port of call sort of thing. That deep hole there, and the deep. Looking at the colours, looking at the colours, I would say that's that's ten the dark grey. So I'm taking this as being ten the dark grey. Uh, Fifteen, very dark, is the deepest part. Twelve, that shade of grey, that looks like the same shade of grey. Very similar to the sense. So between ten and twelve, the darker the grey, the deeper the contour of the lake, sort of thing. So you've some deep water on this bottom term. So I give it a chance to, you know, for like the lures go go down there. 
and now that's round this side from from around here like a half hour shoe round this edge some great uh, graphics with the boulders and stuff it's really uh, you know there's green moss and stuff on the you can see where the rain would run down and and run into the crags and stuff it, it they've got like a, a slimy moss builder that's you know very good we've got a fish on rod one nothing big possibly a, a perch it will alter the direction if you bring the fish in at the side by Okay, time to put nicely. Okay, down the side of that. Oh, look. Always make sure you close the bail I'm up or else you'll lose your line. Um, by that, by losing line, I mean once there's so much out of it, it's uh, it'll wrap round and get confused and warn you that you're going to the end of your line. But you have trouble when you've gone round the island to retrieving your line back then. Okay, we're in the deep area now. Let's just. I just stop the boat. Pressing J stops the drive. And I just like these. And you'll see the angle of these. That these go down. I don't know if you can see the, the blue grid. But it's nearly right down, you know, underneath us. That's like. Very deep, <laughs> 15 meters. Oh, it's a long way down. Okay, and then I usually accelerate away so it it raises it, and then go into a normal trail. I think we've got one. That's, it's not big, but we'll pick what, something up then from the bottom. Maybe a small hook. Okay, um, while I'm bringing that in, we still need to turn left, so as I'm bringing this, what looks like a pitch, it is a pitch. I also steer to get us going to the top of the 10 meter pool. Okay, the bikes have dried up. Uh, Obviously, conditions have changed. We was doing really, really well with the uh, when the sun was out this morning. It, we were getting uh, pretty well. We had six six fish in fifteen minutes real time, and they were good fish. We paid seventy sixty nine silver. So. Maybe time for you know do a change to try and get a little what what's good in the in the cloudy times. Um, listening to Gene, one of the owners of the game, uh, in one of the question and answers with Lady of Games on her stream, um, Gene mentioned that in the when it's sunny you use silvers or gold something what will glisten and reflect the sunshine's rays that will attract the fish and um, i can hear something yeah we got one and on the this looks okay and on and on cloudy days oops we have to be careful with this my reel is not up to this uh, and on cloudy days, uh, use vibrating lures what will vibrate through the water. Um, don't know where we are. Ah, there we are. You see it just under the surface, coming to the top. 
I'm going to stay on this side because on this side, um, not that I want to actually swing it into the boat, but this side seems to bring it closer to the to the rod. An eyed, wow. I wasn't expecting that, guys. That's a nice surprise. Okay. Give a good fight, that, do not it? Um, my real thriller is really struggling. Really struggling. Um, if I'm struggling with two kilogram eyed, uh, I'm not going to get this. Uh, I could show you why we've got a bit of the engine's not running. Um, my stats for this lake, uh, as you can see, we're fishing on the Hypnotic 2 and 1. Uh, I found using them both for, in different conditions. I, well, you can see the weight of them two fish. It's the um, biggest amount of silver with the uh, lake trout. Uh, I'm not sure how many. Did it tell you how many you got? No. Which, it, it, it only needs a little uh, amount there, doesn't it? What could tell you you got whatever, 100 silver, 80 silver. Um, that's all it needs. Another little over the top of the electric, 68 silver or something like that. Uh, because this is telling you the most maximum XP and it's showing the XP. Maybe I've missed it. No, I don't think I have. Yeah, on that, on that could do with a little something like that but we're saying silver over the top uh, silver and the mount would be good um great fight and i think i'd struggle with my reel in the condition it's in getting either of them out today but we'll give it a go see where we are i need to another 10 silver to start repairing part of my reel anyway um, hopefully 140 and that will repair the real the best I can without replacing the uh, replaceable parts like the spool and the bearings okay nice one I'll start again uh, if I find that uh, we've got the hypnotic 2 on got someone on that we've got the hypnotic 2 on rod 2 which is this one that's the gold lure if i find that one lure is working like three times better than the other one um and i'll get in better fish i will try it with uh say i bought two two of each kind of them two lures because they did so well um so i would put gold um hypnotic on each one and two if if that was the case if one was catching a lot more than another but um what i what i have found is that what i have found is um one lure the gold lure seem to catch more of the red fish and the silver lure caught more of the lake trout. I think that is the, what I found, you know. Don't want to keep this uh, stream open too long because I, I think I've been making boring long streams and yapping for hours on end. And I think, uh, I don't think it's needed for you guys to sit through me yapping two hours <laughs> goodness I can't even listen myself for two hours <laughs> um, but we're having we're having good fun on this lake it's uh, over the last two days it, it, two days it's produced uh, some really nice fish um, I've I've fished both of the pools deep pools one successfully one not too well uh, them are in the previous streams uh, one fishing from the bank into the deep 15 metre pool and the other fishing anchored down over the top of the 10 metre pool fishing into the 10 metre. So uh, 
I may try that again there. Uh, I wouldn't say it was totally satisfactory. Uh, I think we need to try and a few more lures in the deep part of them. We got some of the lovely deep red char out of the deepest part of them uh, deep pools, which is something I'd like to target and try for another day. Usually get pike in this area. Uh, this is where I fish. No bites and conditions. It's going very dark. We'll be going into night time soon. Night time mode. You see the shells underneath the uh, big boulders. Sign to turn around. I think that's where I was saying uh, I did it. Did a stream just fishing close in them reeds with top water. Very uh, great fun, you know, uh, fishing from here to them reeds, uh, bringing the lure, top water lures back to towards us, and that seem be able to see the fish come up under the water and take the the popper off the top or the wobbler. Great fun. Um, I think on the next sunny day when it's. Nice, let's have a see if it's cloudy or something. But I think it might be better cloudy. Can you see how it's dark there? I think you would see silver fish underneath and pack and stuff. Uh, a bit better when it's uh, when it's sunshiny, then leaves are a lot more yellow and brighter and the reflection on the, there's another uh, like big rock in the water. So we, so the, um, you see it? Just over the back of the boat, now you can see the contour of the big rock. Uh, we our lures are just in the deep water at the side of that. You can see them more clear, you know, clearly when you stand up, sort of thing. <coughs> Ray, a bit of blue sky. Come on, blue sky, Mr. Blue Sky. Yeah, no bites. We've been round the, been round the pike. I call it a pike basin, but we've been round the basin part, and we're coming into the deeper waters again. There is a deep hole just underneath us now, which I would like to target sometime. Um, this little hole here, I've not noticed before and um, obviously the 12 meter roll. I may I, I may actually anchor up there and fish across that I don't know which way I'll probably both ways um, but I've only just noticed that so you would you would drag it down and you would see it drop into that so if any fish around here like Seth Char any fish around here like the deep water, so they're going to, for that area, they're going to be in that little spot there. Okay. Another uh, one of them boulders underneath the boat at the moment. No bait, so. I'll go back up this way. We go around the lake uh, towards the top again. If we get to the, if we get to that pinnacle, what's out from the the boat up, and we've not got a bite, I will change change lures. Oh, we've got a bite. Not so big though. Uh, this is a very soft uh, tipped rod, and. Um, It looks like every fish is a monster when it, when the, the rod goes round, but it's even the small puts take the rod round. And this is the silver fish. Once your reel starts, ah, uh, seven shots. 
very nice, very small one. <laughs> Beautiful fish though. One of the new introduced fish, uh, if anybody's... Oops. He put that island there. Can you see the uh, the rock of the island? You can actually make it out clear. <laughs> it's uh, just pretty deep anyway. Uh, okay. I think once we get, once I turn round, I'll, I'll swap lures, I think. And put some deep divers on or something. Uh, I have a lot of uh, a lot of joy. No, is that the right word? The gold crank bait on the level twenty river does very well at night. Um, in fact, I'll try it now. Right now, we've turned tonight. If we've no bites on that this. Although these are vibrating spoons, so they should still attract fish. But I think it is time for a change of lure. I always look at the records for the water. Curry Lake. Uh, Curry Lake, sorry. Uh, probably pronouncing it wrong. Arctic char, you've got your hypnotic four, funky minnows SLM2, hypnotic nine, that's a nice lure, I don't have that one, don't have that one, but we have all, all them except the hijacker, um, and it pays very well that fish, so that's one to target. That's a nice bream there. Um, Quarry Lake. We do have them, but we've not been so lucky with them so far. Um, it's a nice big grill in that. And we just got one on the last, the last uh, session. We got one on the. Is that the silver? That's this silver. Yeah, the silver. So that was on rod one because I put the number one on rod one and number two on rod two to uh, I can remember which is which. Um, did we just get a knife? No. Um, perch, good perch pie. That's a big pie. I didn't know they were that big. Uh, we're looking for something. What is it? Seven trait. That'd be an I bet that pays out well. So, what can we know for? Let's try that. Uh, I bet some sort of structure. <laughs> and I'll reverse away from here. Nearly packed up. I did have the, the boat in automatic, so it automatically nearly went home. <laughs> Okay. I usually just set out straight for the island, that seems to get us to the corner of the 10 metre pool. Let's see if anything's. We've managed to entice anything. Nope. Okay. Red one. I'll bring that in. We'll try with some funky minnows for a few. Well, I'll put funky minnow on red one, and I think I'll try the crank crank bait on number two. Okay. I'll try. Uh -oh. And we'll have to cast that out, I suppose. And we two. Oh, 
we've been quite lucky with the bin uh, the fish have been at weights that we've been able to handle you know i think if we did get one of the bigger fish in we'd struggle okay what they say the gold it does really well on uh Volkov, is it? Volkov River does really well. Okay. Let's see how it does on here. I just uh, press the Y button instead of instead of the T for interacting with the sea food. Oh wait, where am I? Other food. Oh well. Right. Need to go back to uh, the river and uh, and get some more moonshine. Okay. Where are we aiming? I'm going round the island that way, are we? No. I'm going to go down the normal route I took. Cursed Island. Didn't know what they were called that. But you can see it's got the dead tree. And an eyeball halfway up, it looks of it. Is it. Does it look like an eye? Oh! oh. <laughs> So, it's a different angle now, or are we just under that? No. Somebody left something stuck. Somebody's, somebody's left their axe in that. Uh, see the axe? Looks like an axe. And we've been chopping the tree down and forgot to take the tool along. <laughs> we've all done that. Okay, come on, fish, where are you? And yeah, that's... Dragging long. Add a bit of alcohol, see if we can get our luck up a bit. This is where strings can get a bit boring, you know. You you're waiting just as I am, and uh, not much going on. Going to the deeper part of this section. We're just about here now. We're just about here. We're just going across this deeper water. Hopefully the diving one can get deep into this stretch. We're covering the deep bay. So this is we're in the 12 meter area now. Uh, let's stop. Let's stop and see if it sinks into the deeper part. Uh, the crankbait is just floating in the own area, but the I don't know if you can see the blue line, it's still sinking. I can just about see it, it's still going down. So, I think the uh, funky minnow. I think the blade makes some makes some work at a depth of four meters. I think that's the angle of the attack of the spoon on the front of the 
you know, the blade on the front of the lure, I think it's angled to be, to work at a depth of four meters. Okay, no bites on the draw, so carry on, continue now. Use the accelerator where to give them a bit of, uh, in fact, in fact, I will. I just use the accelerator and, and it does attract fish doing that and then back to your normal speed of trailing. Give that a go if things are not working too well. And then once around the bay and if we don't catch nothing, change it up or change back. If the daylights come in and you, you're hypnotic one and two of the best through the early morning, switch back to them and have another good day. I didn't go into the bay this time too much. I usually just go up and down this stretch and pick up a couple of fish in either direction. That's when it's going well, that's what I usually do. Set so from here now to the trees and then from the trees back to the rock behind me. That I usually aim for that rock, you see that rock on the, the shore. That one, I, that's my target rock, what I usually aim from, from this end. Um, if I zoom up there, then two trees together is usually my target. My target for uh, going across the deep water of the 10 meter pool. Like that. But if we if we're going from from this end and we're going in this direction, if we look at the map. I'm sure this map's changed. I'm sure there were other. We've got some other thing here. The ratchet. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. We'll stop this boat. Uh, we'll be limited in what we can get and what we can't, guys. So I'll have a go with this one, but. I'm gonna struggle with some of them. Listen to get a second life, you see. Uh, something that I can't do much about. We're not in a bad place though. We can see both angles of the lake. So if it comes around the corner, we should still not get trapped around the island with our line. Into our houses, then. Did it come off? I think it come off, guys. Oh, no, it's not. It's, uh, it come towards us very fast then. I thought that would come off then. Come on. Can't see where we at. Let's see where we at. Under the surface, it's not giving up yet. Oh, we got 
something about the light of them. Oh no. Ah, uh, saw it first time, man. It's a silver fish. Oops, I didn't want to art with it. It's a silver fish, so let's have a see if we can see it. Oh, that's one of them, you know what? Hooray! That's a nice fish. I think that's my biggest one of them. Nice XP. Hello, little one. And daylight dawns. I really need to fix that rail. We did get it in, but we struggled. We saw the size of it. It's not it's a monster. Okay, and that's on the Funky Mina 4. Uh, is there someone on this? This is doing something strange, let's sort of say. It's not big, but we've got a fish on this one, too. I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's uh, almost a bit of all of them. Very nice. Okay, we're on daylight. No. Let's see. Let's see if we can do any different in the sunny areas. It's still cloudy, so things are still overcast, but a nice couple of fish. Um, I think I did ink into that in the night time. Uh, I just put a little bit of tension into the lines by accelerating. And, but, oh, we got one other one checking the. Uh, this doesn't look, uh, it's not as, um, hands are busy, how are you supposed to stop the, hmm, I do need a better reel. Ah, I stood up, that's where I've done, I see what's happened. It's like I'm stood up, guys, by pressing Y. Oh no, I can see the... I'm making it up as a go along. <laughs> uh, not fighting like the other one, but... Uh, let's bring it up. And we have it, a view of it. Let's see it. Arctic Char. They play really well, the Arctic Char. I'll be, I bet that's. I bet that's about 10 to 12 silver, something like that. Good XP again. And we've only gone a few yards, so I've only accelerated and uh, mathered you a little bit. <laughs> um, got another fish one. Okay, try again. There's something on there, it doesn't look big. But we need to bring the rock boat round to that side. If you notice, reeling in a fish extended out either side will pull the boat, as it would in real, real life, to that side. If you want to minimise that, just lift the rod and it'll pull straight up behind you. Seem to cast uh, fun in. Now we're in it again with the 
No, this is not so big. But it's bringing us towards the island by really in that way. So I'm going to a small pike. Oh, we're not too close. Yeah, okay. This should be over the 10 meter pool now. That seems both them was to cast seem to cast a long way. Don't know whether I've gone up in level on casting or something. But both them cast seem to go further than I usually cast. Me or something. Uh, ah, that, that's a hot. That's a hot uh, lure at the moment. And it's a hot reel as well. <laughs> I don't wish I weren't so close to the island, but... Hmm. Okay, stop, stop. Uh, hopefully that's not going around the back of the island. Um, I'm pressing shift to try and get it to the surface, but it will take line again. Don't want to fight with it like this too much. I want I want to get it from the back of that arm and then it will go around the back. I didn't mean to let it go like that one. Should be able to see it soon uh, with this clear water. He says as it goes to the other side of the lake. Um, hmm. Game's not going in. I didn't notice me uh, power with that low. You have to be careful, guys, when you power this down like that. You just have to hold the. I'll try and get some. Uh, some power up. Uh, need to buy something. That reel's not good. So that deep ledge down. Is that it? Or is it a shell? <laughs> it looks like it's weird, I don't know what that is. It doesn't look like a proper uh, animation. Well, it's tiny. Unless it's so deep, it's. Uh, I think it's pretending to be caught and it's not. Oh, what's going on, really? Hmm. I have to get my power up. I'm in trouble here, guys. I'm in trouble. I need power quick. I don't know where to get it from. Come on, um, 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 um. Could have been like that. I need the other one. I just got a little bit of power. Everybody knows how to get the power up fast from this sort of position. Just drop us a message in the thing. I've tried uh, coffee, tea, wine, 
and uh, and energy bars over here. We can see the fish now, anyway. And it's coming closer to the surface. Don't look. I don't know what all that fighting will fight. Doesn't look that big. All that fighting for that. I need to fix my reel. If Father Christmas is out there, tell him I need a new fishing setup for Russian fishing for all the best stuff <laughs> in your dreams. Okay, look at the power come back up now. Uh, really struggle with that. Impressed with this lure. Um, I've tried it a few times, but it's coming to its own on this water. Um, I'll leave it there. That's, I don't think I'll do much um, more on this session. I think that's enough. We can go and weigh the fishing and repair the reel. I think the reel is really struggling. Even though it says low wear, I'm, I'm really struggling with it. Let's get Rod to as well. Get that in. I feel we've got a few decent fish in that. We may have enough silver to at least repair the friction bearings and the gears. Well, maybe not both, but we'll see what we can do. Okay. We did okay coming from up this way from from down there. We got three nice fish, I believe, uh, in that short 300, 400 yard stretch. All on the uh, the better the better stamp of fish was on the funky minna four. And if you look in the records, that'll be give them a, a few weeks to get the records in. That'll be the best, one of the best lures of the, of everybody's records. Okay, let's go away these fishing. So how long will we for really? I don't think we'll be it's surprising that <laughs> how time flies when you're having fun. We were streaming for fifty two minutes, guys. Uh didn't know it was that one actually. So we've not got that many. Um fourteen fish. Okay, buy price. Uh, the 28 silver for the pretty 7 trout. A small lactic share got us 15 late trout. The big one at the end got us 14. The eyed got us 12. That's a great fish. That's a nice fish. And the late trout 7. And then the usual... Uh, Low scoring uh, small fish. Let's see how we did. 79. I think that shop knows just how much to charge because it knows what I'm catching. I think that's how much I need to repair the friction break or whatever. Okay. For some reason in the screen it, it lags my mouse. Okay, 143, now possibly that's all it needs to fix my reel. And uh, as soon as I fix my reel and need it again. Uh, sorry. Let me take it back out. Just need to dismantle it from me, Rod. Okay, I just repaired the rod, so it's really well that was something in there. 
and the oots are slightly bigger than the others. So I'll see. Okay, uh, we'll disassemble the reel. Let's see what damage we've got on that reel. It's all six percent more, but it's not holding the fish. Six. I, I, I will get in when I first bought the reel. I was getting thirteen and a half to seventeen and a half fish out pretty, pretty okay. But uh, seventy two. See, who knows what I've got. Um, Hundred and forty. That's the damage. Uh, so I'm going to repair them guys, 140. Um, <laughs> see you in an hour and a half guys. It's actually not real time, it actually takes more or less to double in a little bit. So. 80 minutes, something like that. I must have changed it. Uh, two pounds, oh, I don't think, oh, two pounds, two silver, two. I'll just get us a, a butty at the shop. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, yeah. Um, two sessions, 140 something, 140 silver, and an hour and 15 minutes, so the fish are here, you know. Um, lovely venue, deep hole here. Yeah, you can see the, you can see, can you see how clear the water is? Um, there's a really deep pool here. Uh, I've tried dropping uh, leads in it and stuff. It's uh, a deep hole. Uh, um, I'm not giving up. So I'm going to try it with. Filling it with bread feed and see if I can get anything in it. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, guys, I'm rambling on. I'm trying to get it round to that hour mark. And uh, it's 50 cent, that's close enough. Okay, guys. Uh, and again, thanks for watching. Catch you later.